Hey, it's Anthony from Semi Informatic here, and if you played video games during the 90s, you know this music. This is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I picked it up recently during the Steam sale, and uh, I'm reliving my misspent early adulthood. So, uh, let's pick up right where we left off. So, hmm? I am playing as a Cavalier. Not a problem. This is me. Not far off next level. Um, I re-rolled my stats until I got some reasonably good ones for a Cavalier. Now my party. Uh, the only person returning so far from the original game is Imoen. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Uh, we have Rassad, who's the uh, monk of um, Salune, who is a new character. Uh, and Nero, who is a wild mage. Uh -huh. Her voice actress, yeah. not so good. Well, you know, it's interesting to have a wild mage around, so we'll see what happens. Alright. Thank you. I am going to find some new party members. This is songs and stuff. We're going to a circus. Uh, so, I'm trying real hard not to use the original, um, the original party from, the you know, that everyone uses. Khalid, Jahira, um... Minsk diner here and you know I can't bring myself to kick Imo one out just yet but I'm sure we'll get there Glad to meet you, friend. so we are uh, in Nashville at the moment and we are investigating the iron shortage but I kind of want to bolster my party up a little bit before I head down into the mines this way good sir over here Um, I have to wonder about this guy. So this guy has a, this, this is Branwen up here. She is a cleric of Tempest, I think, who's been turned to stone. What you want? I've done had enough of this. Um, he wants 500 gold for a scroll that will turn her uh, back out from stone. And I kind of want to see, just going to quick save, because we always quick save when we do something where we might fuck up. No, that didn't work. I just want to see if we can maybe take the scroll off him without paying for it. <laughs> I'm gone. No, we'll try this a few more times. And if we can't, if we don't get any luck, then I'll just, we'll just buy it. <laughs> Welcome to my life in the 90s. Reloading Baldur's Gate saves. I'm gone. Oh, there we go. And Target has no items. Alright, so we have to pay him for it. Hmm? With ease. Yeah, give us a scroll. Alright, what do we got? Can I even use this? Put it in my quick bar. Again. All right, we've got Branwen. Oh, and she's not real, not real healthy. Just rearrange my party so that she is in the past the mages. We might head back to the um, to Nashville proper and get her some weapons. The other person I was looking to pick up was Kiven. Someone's chasing us. Yeah, you're not going to catch us. So this game originally by Bioware, and this version released by Beamdog. Uh, which I believe was founded by Trent Oster, who used to work for Bioware, so obviously he has some... Um, some fondness for these games. So what do we got on us that Branwyn could use? So there's this mace, the stupefier. How did I end up with a... No, oh, well, we'll drop the mace over for Branwyn. That can be her primary weapon. 
We might give her some of these potions. Yeah, you can take cold resistance because it's most likely to... Oh, she can't use that one. All right. Fine. You go back to Rashad. What have you got, Rashad? Potion of defense. Can she use that one? Yeah. You can put the giant strength one up there. Uh, okay. Hi. So this version works pretty well. Um, this is like a, a few niggling little issues I have with it. A lot of the content they've added I don't think is as good as um, the original Baldur's Gate both in sort of voice actor and sort of writing wise uh, when the game starts it's like zoomed out like this and yeah you know, I, I just rather play it closer to the original perspective about there maybe a little bit further out uh, also when it starts uh, this sprite outlines thing is turned on actually we have to restart I mean I think if we just save and load it'll bring it back for us. Yeah, so see everyone's got outlines around them now? Yeah, not really a fan of that look. But, to their credit, turn it off. Uh, let's load it to get rid of it. There we go. Alright, let's get Branwyn some equipment. It has you poor man. Uh, let's get you a sling. In my original Baldur's Gate parties, everyone is um, now they can they let you buy a lot more melee. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, um, uh, sort of ammunitions. Anthony, get the words right. They let you buy a lot more ammunition from the shop now in regards to just buying a whole shitload at once, and also they stack a lot further. So Bramman can wear plate, but I'm not sure I want to spend the money on that just yet. Uh, I might just buy her chain. Oh, she already had splint mail on her. Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, let's have a let's have a quick look. Did I buy splint accidentally? I'm a class of four. I'm a class of five. Now this is second ed, where a lower armor class is better. I think. Or is it a higher armor class? Shit, I don't know. Uh, I think it's a lower armor class is better. So let's equip the splint. And this. And those. Well, you probably have to be careful. It doesn't seem like she can carry much Customer stuff. Is right. Sell that. I guess we just look at the price, can't we? Yeah, splint's a little bit more expensive. Anyway, um, she could probably take a shield as well, can't she? Uh, and a helm. Yeah, I found a cursed sword, which I sold this guy. No helms? Did I miss it somewhere? Shout out if you see it. No, no, no helms. All right. I might just get us a little bit more ammunition because we equipped all of that. Okay, there we go. And a shield. Tempest guides my hand. Uh, so, can she, has she got any... Yes. Yeah, she doesn't have any spells memorized. Cure light wounds. What's this one? Look at here. Remove fear. I don't think there's anybody fearing. Command. Yeah, I'm not sure command is that. 
that useful? I do like bless. So we'll do bless. Because it affects the whole party. It will be done. Alright, so she doesn't have any spells memorized, so it'll be on to the main character to boost her up before we rest. And I'm trying to decide whether we go right into the Nashkal Mines now, or we, um, we seek out Kiven. Let's go to the mines. There's another wizard in there that we we could add to our party. Not a problem. She's down one hit point, but I'm not really concerned about that. I suppose it was a way to speed up uh, walking. The map seems to be different now as well. It doesn't just jump to a um, like a static image. It seems to just zoom it <laughs> real far out, like that. This monk, he runs so much faster than everybody else. It's amazing. He's got a fairly interesting story and a fairly interesting um, sort of voice actor, but unfortunately the wild mage, who is probably a little bit more interesting for me, sort of just a little bit average, I think. I'm just going to try to reveal as much of the uh, of the map as we can. I don't know if this was in the old Baldur's Gate, but they added a thing called area background where you can see where you can and can't walk. Let's see if we can't just close that. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if I let you scroll past the edge like you can here. It's a wand. Oh my god, is that a little bit of... of uh, is that a bug? <laughs> Where the image hasn't scaled properly? So we're here to do. Stand away, citizen. Emerson. Where's Emerson? God, I hope he's not back in town and we have to walk back. Is that I was gonna say please be Emerson. <laughs> So you want to take a look at me mine, do you? Yes, I do. Alright. Stand away, citizen! Yeah, like, spoiler alert, it's kobolds. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go into adventuring mode here. I'm going to send Imo in ahead. Yeah, there's no option I can use to have her search, isn't there? Because I know there's things up here, I just don't want to trigger... Oh, that's right, we have to... Okay. Sorry, I thought everything started straight away, but obviously we get a little bit of a grace period before we have to actually fight things. You know what? I think I'm carrying... Well, I was carrying a broken sword, but... I really can't be bothered lugging that stuff back up to be sold. Stand away, citizen.
Actually, from memory, the first level of the mines was fairly... Fairly empty. Well, not empty, but there's not... There's not a whole lot going on. That's level two, where the traps kind of start. Alright, you're obviously been down here for a bit too long. <laughs> I think I'm coughing up blood. Okay. Are you coming over to talk to us? You are. Oh, I've got to return someone's dagger. Oh, cobbles. From memory, they're not too bad with those bows either, which is annoying. The upside is, is that all the more ammunition for Imoen, since she uses bows. I'm going to drop this quarter stuff here, I don't think we need it. Because I'm playing a Cavalier, I can't um, use ranged weapons. I can't remember where that miner is. I'm sure we'll run into him eventually if we map the whole area. Well, oh, no, we're not ready to go down there just yet. We've got to make sure there's nothing up here. Oh, oh they got him, Owen. Bit of low cure light wounds. Hello, Miner Bob. How are you? Leave us be. Tis much work to be done. There's a dragon. We still haven't managed to find the miner that we need. The lower levels of the Nashcall mine. Alright, well let's head the lower level then. I 
I'm sure they'll find their way there. Not a problem. All right, uh -huh. let's get busy. I will show you. Your wish. Guys, spazzing out there. There we go. All right, so cobalts taken care of. Hey, we, we won the game. No, I don't think so. It will be done. Be nice if some of them had treasure rather than just arrows for my rogue. With ease. Yes? All right. Let's see if we can't find Minor Kaylee. Give the sword back. Or the dagger. There's another kobold. I stand ready. Hmm? She lets us all go. My blade will cut you down to size. It will be done. Yeah. Using my cavalier as a bit of a tank there. Hmm. What, what happened there? Oh, 10 missile damage from Imoen. That's why she's getting all of the arrows. I'm trying to keep my party in kind of a formation. Alright. Oh, there you are. Lots of things for us to loot. Probably none of them with anything in it. These things have contaminated iron in it, but we're not really interested in that. Weapons, but they're not magic weapons, so... These soldiers have anything interesting to say? This is something that I've picked up from the last time I played uh, Baldur's Gate, which was uh, equip everyone except your frontline fighters with a missile weapon. <laughs> and then at the very least, you get the first hit in. And sometimes that's enough to turn a difficult battle into a manageable one. We're getting there as far as exploring this level. Hmm. 
Oh, no, oh, quite a few of them. What is it this time? Well, you have to do your job. That's what it is. I stand ready. I will show you justice. Hmm? We're getting through it. Maybe even a little bit over leveled for this area, since I went and, and did a bunch of other quests first. Hi. Stand away, citizen. Okay, fine. Just trying to help. Oh, we've got a dead miner. And a cobalt that's just off screen. My blade will cut you down the sky. I will show you justice. Quite a few cobalts actually. Last one. Give us victory. Now I believe in the Forgotten Realms, Tempest is the god of war. Or combat. And as a result, Branwen's pretty big Tempest fan. Should probably save, shouldn't I? Well, we know I killed that miner now. High concentration of cobalts. What you want? You <sighs> She's out of spells. My blade will cut you down to size. I stand ready. Hello. Let's heal him. Your wish? You can go to fists. Damn it! Now I have to load. Well, you I guess you're seeing the true Baldur's Gate experience, aren't you? Load your game every two minutes. Do we pick up all this treasure already? I think we did. All right. Let's go down this one this time. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about the other one. <laughs> Cause you got lots of bad feelings. Uh... Eat flaming or uh, possibly frosty death. You see, it's funny because she's a wild mage and sometimes her spells go wrong, so she doesn't know what's going to come out. My blade will cut you down to size. I stand ready, it will be done. Hmm? With ease. And to their credit, it is kind of funny, but a little bit obvious. All right, we seem to have circled back around. Let's get our stuff together here. Just polish off this map. Hi, oh, I'm just going to loot your weapons. You got anything good? No? Okay.
So it looks like that little area down the side there is probably the only place I haven't been yet. The one with all of the kobolds. So we'll head back up there and we'll save, and then we'll try to go in a little, like in a little bit more regimented fashion. Maybe pull some of them out slowly. Um. And then we'll, uh, and if that doesn't work, we'll we'll sleep and. And see what happens. I stand ready. Temper, give us victory. Nothing like gaming the uh, the system by pulling things out of the fog of war one at a time. It's a vial of mysterious liquid. Yes. I wonder if it's what they're using to uh, to cause the iron uh, shipments to fail. You know, there's another vial of mysterious liquid. Don't drink it. If you were paying attention earlier, um, the miners remarked that the iron that they're pulling out of the mine is uh, going bad as soon as um, as soon as they mine it. Well, actually, sorry, as soon as it's smelted. We can probably take the rest of these on by ourselves now. Did he even see me? Let's move down. Not a problem. Eat flaming or uh, possibly frosty. Yes. Death. Not a problem. I stand red with ease. All right, down to the next level. You must gather your party before venturing forth. No, oh, wouldn't be Baldur's Gate with at at least one. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hello, this looks like a mm -hmm. trap. With ease. So I think that might be a quest. I'm not sure if there are traps here or not. So let's do some scouting. If Imowen can ever apparently hide in the shadows properly. There we go. See how much of the map we can get mapped out. My blade will cut you down to I don't mean for her to attack one of them, but sure. Yes. It will be done. Your wish? I understand. Rasada's at a minus one to use that weapon. I just noticed. I've done had enough of this. Actually, no, I've so this is the one thing that's not so good about the um, the expansion characters. So um, the original ones, if you clicked on them all en enough. So they get some weird dialogue, and I think Bramwin is the same. New, the new characters. What is it this time? You rang? Uh-huh. What is it this time? You rang? Uh-huh. What is it this time? You rang? Uh-huh. What is it this time? No silly dialogue. I stand red, not a problem. Docking points for the game from the game for that. No. Right. Let's send him in again. This way. You just got to get that hiding in shadows, right? That's important part of being a thief. My blade will cut you down to size. When she does like that, I mean, I'm not sure she even gets, like, were there even ranged uh, sneak attacks in second ed? Or is she just getting lucky? I think she might just be getting lucky. 
I haven't had time to pull my... Oh, oh, crap. Help, help, help. Help, people hurting me. Branwen, Branwen. You have any spells left? When they come along, we'll just send these two up to deal with them. It would appear they're not coming up. Oh god, that's a lot of kobolds. Alright, so what do you got? Larlox Minor Drain. Yep. Now I know you're holding some spells as well. Uh, well, I know the main character is out of range. But let's uh, make sure you guys are okay. I stand ready. You. Protection from evil yourself. I think that's what we just did, wasn't it? No, it's detect evil. She's still casting that bliss spell. Alright. You can join back in now. Everyone gets a plus one. Okay. We win. Was it ever in doubt? Now you get to loot all these arrows. This small amount of money. Maybe we should be taking everything else with us too, but if that's the case, we'll be entering and leaving the mines like 30 times before we finished it. Okay. Well, it's been uh, like almost 40 minutes, so I reckon we're going to leave it there. This is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Uh, if you want to play Baldur's Gate, this is not a bad way of doing it. Um, they've changed, or not changed, but they've made some additions from the original, which I'm not really sure I agree with, but they're not really enough to, I guess, um, wreck the game. Uh, it's still pretty good, uh, and it runs real good on modern computers. So if you want to play Baldur's Gate, uh, consider picking this one up. This has been Anthony for Semi-Informatic. See you later.